today is day one. I'm gonna call it day one of us officially really pushing things through with our move back home. And today's just a long day because we have put in a work day and now we are meeting halfway with my mom and I believe my grandma to basically hand over our kids. And it makes it sound bad when you say that. Moving's a lot easier without children. But they have volunteered and it has been pushed upon us that this would be a good decision for us to leave the kids in our parents' hands okay. so that we can have the extra space to do everything we need to do to bring the last push together for getting this house ready to move. This week, one more week, we load up a U-Haul and we leave Virginia where we have lived for the past three years. One of the things that we do is we will label our boxes as we're packing them so that we know what's in the box. And then one of the other things that I want to point out is this red tape, so green tape that we're using, duct tape that is, because we haven't officially figured out exactly where we're going to be renting up there yet, because we're going to have to put some stuff up in storage for a little bit. So the red just indicates stuff that we're gonna put in storage green is stuff that we're gonna keep you're meeting us at sheets and hancock and uh your gps probably tells you you have about two hours and 30 minutes two hours and 40 minutes all right well then we'll get let me see it's 426 so we'll make sure we're on the road in the next 15 minutes here all right we'll see you soon love you about you he really is dead on the far side there's a little weighty wizard she hide it in the biggest seat and then she soaked it that door and suddenly she heard a noise then he shot her ears Shall we to flip up a rock? Like a very, very big rock. Then she throw it at her. And suddenly she fell away right back to sea. Then suddenly she sort of well, then said, ah! And we're here at a small ghetto sheets. I mean, <laughs> One bathroom, that's how small the sheets is. One, two, three, so, four, but this five, is where six, we're meeting seven, Nana. Eight, nine, this seven. area is known for its antique stores. Lots of antique stores up this main street. Hey. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Can you say hi to Grandma Doc? Hi there, kid. Hi. hi, sweetie. How do you do? Say hi to Grandma Doc. You coming to visit? You coming to visit? You gonna come visit Grandma? Yeah. You gonna come visit Grandma? Huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. Holly. What are you looking at? You're looking at that sky. Look at you looking at that sky. What's up there? They're not even gonna know we're gone. I don't think so. Because we have an awesome family, and they're gonna be very active over the next week with them, and then we'll get up there and join them, but. This is a start to a new journey for us. It seems like every three years, we make a move. Yeah. But the this move back home is supposed to fix that. <laughs> Seriously. So, and I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with Virginia. Virginia, especially Northern Virginia that we're in, is a very growing area. A lot of new build, a lot of growth in the area and really with our decision to go back home has everything to do with family just seeing the smiles on seeing the smiles on Nana's face and 
Dot's face. Grandma Dot's face, and we know Heather's mom is just excited to spend today with the kids. And through the time that we spent here in Virginia, we have spent a lot of time with them coming down here. We've spent a lot of time going up there. So at the end of the day, we don't make a move based off of the area that we're moving in. We have never thought that we would make a move back home. We, we have been blessed over the last six years that we have lived away from home to just experience life. We've been blessed and we've had a lot of really good experiences, but now it's time to move on and Serenity is gonna start school next year. So we need to be, we need to have a home base for her as well. So with that, um, we are gonna close out today's video. I'm sure there'll be more that happens throughout the week that you guys will see, but this is our last week in, in Culpeper. This is our last week in Virginia. This is our last week in our current home. So, thank you guys for watching, and tune in next time. So I brought the kids to the playground. Oh, ah, crossing the 700 mark, all right. Number one is this lady over here. My mom, I wanted to bring her out here to uh, check out the mountain because it's just, it's different when you're out here in person. Here we go. One more, one more, one more, one more. All right, we're done.